Hello everyone, my name is Ishan and I am the science and tech faculty at upscprep.com and today we are going to understand how to go about preparing for science and tech part of your syllabus. So this is a fairly easy part in your syllabus because it's quite based on concepts and it is very very scoring, right? It is very very scoring. So how do we go about preparing for this? depends on a lot of things right so first of all it depends on where are you in your preparation right have you just started it out or do you know some basics or are you already reading well so if you're just starting out which means that you have no idea of what's going on then you should probably first understand concepts right you should first understand concepts Right? And once you have understood these concepts, you can go on and read more from news items. Right? So newspapers become indispensable after that point. All right. Then it also depends on how much time are you investing. So if you are able to give only a few hours every day, that would mean that concepts again are very, very important along with practice. Right? If you're able to give some decent amount of time, then you can probably have a look at magazines, monthly magazines. And if you are on full on prep, which means that you are you know, full on preparing for this exam only, then you should go for all sorts of things. You should be thorough with your concepts. You should be practicing MCQs and you should be reading all the magazines as well. Right? Right. So this essentially is the plan for everyone everyone should be doing all these things right but if you are full on preparing then you should be a little a little more attentive to details as well right so that would make your preparation a little bit easier if you are able to understand where are you where are you standing in the uh, prep ladder all right so once you have understood all these things uh, then you can go on and uh, have a look at what do you need to actually do so ncrt's for every uh, every subject in your exam first thing that you have to study is ncrt's but that holds true if you want to understand concepts in science and tech we do not say that reading ncrt's is going to guarantee you a question in the exam or uh, uh, it is it forms the basis of everything that uh, that is there for your syllabus what we can say is that there are some ncrt's which cover good concepts which explain things well and science is one thing where you need to understand things in a bit more uh, dimensional multi-dimensional multi way right so ncrt's are good in doing that so if you want to ask which ncrt's it will honestly depend on what topic are you actually looking at so mostly people will say that you can go for 10th and 9th and 10th ncrt's but they cover some kind of uh, school level concepts which which are important for your understanding but in they in no way uh, they in no way will help you in cracking the mcqs in the exam right but they are good for your basic understanding right so that level of understanding at least you should have and if you want to study biology you can go for 12th biology you can go for the last five or six units those are very good because biotech is one portion which forms a major chunk in the paper so there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of questions that are asked from biotech so if you, if you can go for 12th biology, last 5-6 units, they can cover good concepts. And uh, from there you can say that, okay, a lot of questions related to biotech you can answer. All right, apart from that, there are many more NCRTs which you can refer to if you want. And uh, suppose there's a concept that you have read in news and you're not able to understand and you feel that NCRTs will explain it well. So you can go and read it from there. But I will not say that NCRTs are the only source for understanding concepts. You can read it from any other source that you feel like. Right. So it mainly the main thing is that you should be enjoying your preparation. It's not that reading more and more is going to give you more and more output. Right. It's more about understanding. So from wherever you can understand, you can go and uh, read or watch or listen from there and understand. Okay. So once you have read NCRTs or followed any other source, you should have your own notes. These notes should be your concepts, 
right all those concepts related to all those topics which form the part of your syllabus so if you look at your uh, prelims syllabus you can find it anywhere right there are several topics space uh, biotech health nuclear nano robotics and ai communications and it computers uh, right and there are some miscellaneous topics as well so all these topics topic wise notes of concepts can be uh, can be prepared and you can keep it with you and you can add more and more to it as and when you find things in the news items or you find it anywhere else you can keep on adding right and then comes current affairs which is indispensable for any any subject in your exam and for science and tech especially most of the questions that you will find in the exam are going to be sourced from the current affairs itself so current affairs from where are you going to read newspapers right or you can refer to monthly magazines now in monthly magazines don't go too much in depth because you're not going to become a scientist after studying all this all these things you're going to become a civil servant so what they are expecting you is a knowledge of a uh, of a general understanding right so you you should have a general understanding of things if some event has happened right uh, then what is the significance of that event right maybe you should understand that so we'll look at these uh, look at some of the questions and then you'll have you'll have a better idea about what we are talking about right so uh, the kind of questions asked in the exam mainly depend on three things first are first is facts so they are they are, they are directly fact based which means that either you know or don't know then there are concept based questions which form a large part of your exam uh, most of the questions are based on concepts and in fact some of the questions which look seemingly factual they can also be answered based on facts that is the importance importance of concepts in your science and tech paper right and then there are some questions which are interdisciplinary which means that you cannot strictly put them in the science and tech bracket you can say that maybe they are based on environment maybe they are from security maybe they are from uh, health uh, it's not it's not that you can strictly put it in a bracket of science and tech right so it's okay uh, there is no need to worry about that part of your uh, exam right all the all the all your things in the exam are mostly based on multi dimensional inter interdisciplinary approach because that's what you are expected to become right you're going to become a generalist so you need to have a uh, need to have an understanding of how to connect one topic to another topic right so that is how it is now if you look at the trends now i told you that i'll i'll show you some of the trends so if you look at the past 3 years i have show, shown you the trends of past 3 years you can go and have a look at the rest of the years and if you look at the kind of questions so in 2022 there were a lot of questions and there were some fairly simple questions based on b cells t cells nanoparticles right even dna barcoding a simple conceptual understanding was sufficient acid rain again was sufficient uh, this you could say uh, was a was a bit factual but again it could be answered very well right then there was question of open open source digital platforms because of uh, your uh, covid there was yeah, we had a we had we had developed an app right agaroge setu because of that that question had come then web 3.0 is an ongoing process so that's why they have asked software as a service very much in news right fractional orbital so if you look at these kind of questions you know i'll come to these questions this hold on for this uh, just hold on for a while then qubit was a very simple question short range communications again fairly fairly easy biofilms applications so you can see that most of the times they are all, also going for applications right many there is nanoparticles dna barcoding uh, pet right or biofilms right? they were asking about applications then solar storms they asked because of aditya l1 covid 19 vaccines obvious question uh, probiotics related to health right methane and nitro nitrous oxide you could say related to environment but it was a very simple question system of rice, rice intensification again one thing that you study when you study agriculture and you study rice different methods of uh, cropping rice you study about these systems also right so you will find that most of these questions were based on just an understanding of what are you studying and why are you studying it which, which means that what is the use of something that you are studying if you are studying biofilms what is the use of biofilms right if you are studying dna barcoding what is the use of dna barcoding and that much is most of the times it is sufficient for you to go through prelims right if you look at 2023 extremophiles 
was a common sensical question uh, green hydrogen applications volbachia method very much in news i'll come to these three questions in a bit in accelerometer again applications biofilters in aquaculture again what is the use objects in space direct question of definition missile technology again there was a direct question on what are the different kinds of missiles and the technology that is based on them whether they are ballistic or cruise missiles right so uh, this way they they asked uh, questions in 2023 and this year if you look at 2024 again a direct question on metaverse uh, this was a you could say a, fair, a bit of a technical question but still uh, some amount of conceptual clarity would uh, help you in answering this question also then there was a question on star life cycles for purely on concept on uh, nitric oxide so there was dilation of blood vessels uh, they are dust substance which can cause dilation of dilation of wet blood vessels so no oh, that was not that was not a conventional question but still sometimes these questions happen uh, can be asked right so then there was an application of radar very simple then there was question on uh, aircraft generations now this was let's say a bit more bit more factual than others the hydrogel applications fuel cell emissions pumps to raise hydropower membrane bioreactors most of these these things were around the uses and applications of these things so most of the times you are mostly studying what is it and why are we studying it right how is it used sometimes that with that they can ask you know there was a question some years ago on um, again how uh, how how you are how are you using drone technology in agriculture they are giving you four five options so most of the times you will find that when you are studying science and technology science means what the concepts and technology means applications so when they are asking you questions they are either asking you about the concepts or they are asking about their applications like most of the times this is sufficient but sometimes it might happen that they go beyond and they go and dig uh, they go and dig deeper into it but you know, we don't have to worry about exceptional situations so we don't have to worry about outlier questions we have to score marks right and no one is saying that you can uh, score full marks in your prelims exam that's not uh, your goal your goal is to clear the cut off so most of the times if you are reading what and why and how of things you will be able to go through your exam very easily and there were some questions that i had marked fractional orbital bombardment system volbachia aerial metagenomics microsatellite dna now, these questions these terms sometimes you can say that you might not have heard of these terms before maybe in the magazines also you have not seen them in the newspapers also you have not seen them and you would say that no then how can we answer so these questions if you go and have a look at these questions the way, way they were asked volbachia you can say is a, a bit more factual but metagenomics microsatellite and fractional orbital these are terms which are english terms and if you go and dig deeper into it you will find that the answers are very much coming out of these terms themselves so when they are asking you these questions they are expecting you to apply some mind apply some sense and even seek answers to questions that you might not have heard of right so you might we can apply some common sense we can make some intelligent uh, you know sensible guesswork and you can come to the right conclusion right so that uh, those are those are the trends if you look at these trends you i think you will have a better understanding of how the questions are being asked right so what should you do in the next 7 to 8 months of your preparation you should be continuously reading and again go back to the first two slides where are you in your preparation how much time you are investing based on that you should be reading then you should be revising which is single most important thing if you are reading something after 10 days if you have haven't revised you will forget so most of the times even important concepts you should be revising them regularly right so again it depends on how much time are you able to give whether you can revise weekly monthly fortnightly it all depends on how much time you are able to give to your preparation and then practice so practice becomes very important of mcqs you can take any test series and you can start practicing um, from day one don't worry about not being able to answer if you are starting out you can try and attempt basic ncrt mcqs and uh, as you go on you can go on maybe to sectional tests and then full tests right so that should be your approach and uh, i hope that uh, most of you will be able to do well in the exam i wish you all the best and uh, if you have any doubts you can put it in the comments below and we'll try and resolve those doubts as well thanks a lot for giving your time and all the best